Hey Kremlin Nation, I'm back with another video. I hope y'all are having an amazing Wednesday. So a couple days ago on our Instagram, we posted one of those uh, ask questions thing. Uh, and the question, uh, well y'all asked us questions about Disneyland Paris. And in this video, that's what we're going to be answering. So it's like a little Q&A session from the questions y'all asked us on Instagram. Alright, so the first question we have Linstagram11 asked, what is it like compared to Walt Disney World? Um, so, it is, there's only two parks over there, so it's a lot smaller, uh, um, a lot less space it feels like, uh, not as many attractions, um, but there's still some amazing things that they have that we don't have. Uh, so like Ratatouille, they have a ride called Crush's Coaster, which uh, was closed when we were there, but it looks pretty fun. Uh, I want to go back and do that at some point. Uh, the hyperspace, their Space Mountain is Star Wars theme. It goes upside down, uh, and uh, so many more things uh, are different. Uh, some of many different comparisons. Uh, so a lot of rides are the same, uh, not exactly the same, but they have the same theme. They're just a little different. But if you want to see us go more into detail on that, click on this right above me uh, and we compare the rides at Disney World and Disneyland Paris. Next we have Mecca on Main Street and she asked, favorite person you met there? Well, uh, Kelly, uh, Mecca on Main Street, you were the only person that we met there, so I guess by default that would be you. But that would also mean you're our least favorite person we met. Oh. Emma Fisher asked, easiest slash most complicated part of being there. Um, so the most complicated part is definitely getting to Disneyland Paris and getting uh, back into Paris or wherever you're staying at. Uh, Disneyland Paris is way outside of Paris um, for us. So we were at the Louvre in the morning. And we went, we got an Uber from the Louvre to Disneyland Paris, and it was like an hour drive. So that's definitely the most complicated part about being there. Uh, the easiest thing, oh, this is tough. The easiest thing is maybe you could buy fast passes in advance instead of having to worry about it when you get in the parks. And like us, we got there in the afternoon, so it would have been, if it was Disneyland and the Max Pass system, it would have been tough for us because we were getting there late. Um, so I guess the easiest part would have to be Fast Passes there. Madeline Grace asked, do you prefer, prefer that there are less attractions or do you want more? Um, I want more attractions. I always want more. You can always get better. You can always add more things unless you run out of space. But I will say... I did like the spacing between uh, attractions at Disneyland Paris. It seemed like there was a lot more room and comfort to breathe. I wasn't always surrounded by people. What was the magic level compared to Walt Disney World and Disneyland? Um, so there's two parks at Disneyland Paris. There's Disneyland Paris and there's Walt Disney Studios. Uh, kind of a similar setup that there is in Disneyland. Um, I will say that if we're comparing the two Walt Disney Studios magic level was just a theme park. Like, I didn't feel like I was at a Disney uh, theme park. So, like, if you think of the secondary park at Disneyland, which is DCA, Disney's California Adventure, I feel like the, the magic level there is much higher at Walt Disney Studios. Um, but as far as the actual Disneyland Paris park, I mean, it's just as magical as the others. Um, I feel like a, one thing I talk about a lot about Disneyland Paris is like the natural beauty. There's like a lot of great landscaping that like makes the beauty instead of like a bunch of building and lights. 
Uh, so I really like that. So for me, the magic level is just the same as the other Disney parks. Disney Duckies asked us, where did y'all stay? Uh, so we were on a study abroad trip. So we did not stay at a Disney resort. We were staying at the small hotel in inside of Paris. Um, I don't even remember the name of it. So it's a very it's a very small hotel. Uh, I would not recommend staying there if you have a family. Last question we have from Disney Duckies again: How did you travel between Paris and Disneyland? Um, so on the way there, we took an Uber which was like 70 euros and it took like an hour um, and on the way back we took uh, the metro uh, the metro still took a long time because there's like you have to get on a different form of the metro you have to get on like a train and then you get on a subway um, and you have to wait for the train so the time difference isn't that different if you're deciding on Ubering or uh, taking the, the metro system. But I will say that the metro system was a bit shady uh, at closing time. I mean, it's shady any time of the day uh, in Paris. But I would say that um, if you're trying to spend money, or no, not if you're trying. I will say if you're trying to save money, uh, the Metro is a way you can get back from Disneyland and the Disneyland Paris, but if you want to feel more safe, I would recommend Metro taking the Metro to Disneyland Paris during the day um, and then Ubering at night. Uh, it also depends where you're staying. I know from the airport they have a Magical Express uh, because Kelly went on it, Mecca on Main Street. But she also said it took a long time. I forgot how long she said, but I wanted to say it was over an hour. Um, so that's just something you're going to have to do research on. If you're wanting to spend money on Ubers, that's definitely probably the easiest way. Um, but the Metro is probably the least cost, uh, as well as Magical Express. So that's all our questions uh, today. I hope y'all are satisfied with these answers. Uh, I think we're going to do more Q&As uh, going forward. So if you see us ask questions on our story, make sure to leave your response if you want to be in one of these videos. Guys, it's been awesome. It's been fun. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the Disneyland Paris vlogs. Uh, at the end of the video, there will be a link to the playlist where you can watch all of them. I'll see you all later. Quaharini. How are you doing team? This is Captain America at Disneyland. I'm Callie. I'm Rachel. Yo, this is Gino Seagus from Pair of Kings. You might know me as Mason McClua. Hi, I'm the DTM. Hi, this is Kelly, the Disney Traveler, and you just watched the Disney Kremlins. Thanks for watching the Disney Kremlins. To my boys Chase and Cody, Disney Kremlins. And don't forget to always represent.